The fifth wheel designs are ready. Simple, but hopefully very effective. Let's dive right in. Hello everyone and welcome back. Development of the CTC-01 3D printable RC truck chassis continues with the inclusion of some new fifth wheel designs. In the last video, I went over the entire assembly process showing you how to put one of these chassis together. What we ended up with is what you see here, a great base for converting your 124th and 125th scale plastic models into fully functional RC trucks. There is still one key ingredient missing though if you want to build a semi truck and that's the fifth wheel. Fortunately though, that'll no longer be an issue after today, as I've got a pretty solid setup for easily coupling trailers. Today's video will be a quick overview of these new parts, and I'll show you some simple methods for mounting them to the chassis. It's probably worth briefly mentioning what a fifth wheel is before going any further. If like me, you're more familiar with light trucks or cars, the fifth wheel is simply this part here that couples the trailer to the truck. The name obviously well predates modern semi-truck tractors, which will often have more than four wheels making contact with the ground. But the mechanism is pretty simple, with a kingpin on the trailer locking into the center of the fifth wheel, preventing the trailer from coming loose while allowing the truck and trailer to pivot for going around corners. On full-size trucks, the trailer is coupled by backing up to it. The fifth wheel contains a mechanism to lock the kingpin in, and the trailer is secured. Connecting the trailer by backing up to it, like you would with a real truck, can be made possible with these RC models, particularly with the magnetic version of this fifth wheel. Keeping with the goal of designing all of the parts to be as easy to 3D print as possible, this fifth wheel is no exception. A few variations are currently available. On the bottom of two, they are completely flat, while the remaining two have a spot for some springs to sit. On the top side, one variation will use magnets to help secure the trailer in place, while the other simply uses gravity and a 2mm diameter fastener or rod. On the magnetic version, you can use a couple of 4mm magnets and a 1mm rod or fastener to ensure the trailer will be securely coupled to the truck. This connection in particular seems to be pretty solid while still not requiring much force for the trailer to rotate. However, if we find that a stronger connection is needed, simply choosing a slightly larger diameter magnet should do the trick. These versions with the flat base can simply be secured using M1.6 hardware directly to the chassis. If it's sitting too low for the trailer you'd like to use, you can always add something like washers or o-rings to increase the height. Very simple, but you might encounter some issues if you're driving over uneven surfaces. You'll notice that real fifth wheels pivot rather than be solidly mounted parallel to the frame. Simply adding some o-rings to the back half and some springs on the front half closest to the cab can help replicate this pivot motion, preventing the trailer from becoming detached when going over uneven terrain. You will need to enlarge the mounting holes on this part here, and you may need to experiment a bit with making sure that you have the right amount of tension, but you'll be able to have the fifth wheel pivot just like this one here. On the underside, you can use o-rings or washers to make sure that the heads of the screws don't go through the larger holes. Unfortunately, depending on where you position the fifth wheel, it's possible the mounting hardware could come into contact with the drive motors below. To ensure this doesn't become an issue, make sure you select hardware that isn't too long, consider repositioning the fifth wheel, or simply glue the springs into place rather than using the hardware on the front. Stay tuned for a video where I showcase the build process of the trailer, but the kingpin is extremely simple. If you're using the fifth wheel that contains a magnet, just glue another one onto the trailer with a 1mm rod or fastener to fit through the center. Position it in the same spot where the kingpin included with the plastic model kit would be. Obviously you may need to add some washers or space the kingpin down a little ways so the trailer sits level. Once you figure that out, the magnet clicks right into place and you're good to go. If you don't want to use magnets though, we've also got this design that you see here with a 2mm opening, allowing you to simply use a M2 fastener and gravity to keep the trailer in place. Brutally simple, but it will work for some builders. Obviously though, this will only be suitable if you're driving over very smooth flat ground. You may need to throw a little bit of weight onto the front of the trailer to ensure it doesn't come off unintentionally. Both of these setups contain zero moving parts with no locking mechanism like what would be found on the real thing, and that's really what I wanted for this initial design in order to keep things simple. Admittedly, it's not exactly the most scale looking part, but we can always come back later and create a more intricate design for those who want to go a step further. 
I'm eager to get these STL files posted, so I don't yet have a trailer to showcase in this video, as the one I'm currently building is being painted. However, stay tuned for a full buildup of both this truck and the trailer. Hopefully this quick demonstration is sufficient for all you builders out there. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know. A huge thank you for all of the support and new Patreon members since that last video. It's your continued support that helps make these 3D printable RC chassis and videos possible. It's great to see all of the interest and excitement since the release of these STL files, and I appreciate everyone's patience as we continue to work on new parts and some upcoming build videos featuring this chassis. I hope you'll stay tuned for what's to come, but that's going to be all for today's video. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.